Behold Australia, a land of diverse landscapes and a history that spans millennia. For over 65,000 years, indigenous Australians thrived on this continent before the British arrived, laying claim in the 1770s. Isolated and unique, Australia is full of unexpected wonders. Now, a recent discovery will rock what we thought we knew about this continent's natural history. What lies hidden? Join us as we delve into the 15 strangest mysteries from the land of kangaroos. Strange hieroglyphs. If we move further north in New South Wales lies a different mystery. In the 1980s, a set of hieroglyphs was found in the Brisbane Water National Park, known as the Gosford Glyphs. These carvings resemble ancient Egyptian writing, leading to wild theories about ancient Egyptians reaching Australian shores long before Europeans. However, experts suggest the glyphs are more likely a modern creation, perhaps by soldiers who had served in North Africa during the World Wars. Despite this, the glyphs have sparked curiosity and debate about historical connections between continents. The Kakadu Man The bones of a person who lived more than 40,000 years ago were recently found in Australia. This person, named Kakadu Man, was discovered near the Kakadu National Park, a place of wild beauty. Kakadu Man's bones told a story of life and death in a world far different from ours. His bones showed signs that his life was not easy. He had healed injuries, suggesting that he was a survivor. But it was how Kakadu Man met his end that held the mystery. The evidence on his skull hinted at a violent death, perhaps a fight or an accident. We may never know for sure. This piece of the puzzle makes us wonder about the lives of the people who walked this land so long ago. Around him, the land kept his story safe. The red dirt, the rocks that have watched over the land for millennia, and the caves that have sheltered life since time immemorial. Kakadu Man's resting place was among the oldest art galleries in the world, with rock paintings telling tales of ancient spirits and long-gone animals. What secrets did he carry? What stories of the Dreamtime could he tell if he could speak? Kakadu Man is a messenger from the past, a link to the first people who walked these lands. His discovery is a doorway to the ancient history of Australia, a history that is still being pieced together by scientists and historians today. His life and death are a riddle wrapped in the enigma of time, leaving us with more questions than answers. The Mysterious Mori Man In a remote area of South Australia, a giant figure etched into the ground was discovered in 1998. Dubbed the Mori Man, this colossal geoglyph depicts an indigenous Australian man hunting with a stick or boomerang. It stretches over 4 kilometers with lines up to 35 meters wide and 30 centimeters deep. Its creation remains a mystery. No one knows how or why it appeared. Theories abound. Some suggest it's the work of a local artist, while others speculate about extraterrestrial involvement. The figure is so large it can only be fully seen from the air. And despite its visibility, it seems to blend into the vast desert landscape. Aboriginal Art Here the oldest Aboriginal art paints the saga of ancient lives. Picture this, a rocky overhang transformed into a gallery where hands, animals, and enigmatic symbols have been etched over 28,000 years ago, making them the oldest known rock art in Australia. These aren't just drawings. They are messages from ancestors, preserving a culture rich and deep. Some images are clear, like the powerful kangaroo, while others are shrouded in mystery, their meanings lost to time. This ancient art is more than history. It's a bridge to the wisdom of elders long gone, offering us a glimpse into the soul of the world's oldest living culture. The Thousand-Legged Millipede Beneath the surface of Australia's eastern goldfields, in a realm where darkness reigns, scientists have stumbled upon a creature that shocked them, a millipede with an astonishing 1,306 legs. The discovery of this species named Eumillipes persephone shatters previous records. Never before has a millipede with more than 750 legs been found. This enigmatic creature, unearthed from 60 meters deep within a drill hole, redefines what we thought possible in the world of multi-legged beings, the name Eumillipes persephone is a nod to its impressive leg count, from eu meaning true, and milli for thousand, and its subterranean discovery linking it to Persephone, the Greek goddess of the underworld. This millipede's lineage is ancient, tracing back to a distant relative, the previous record holder from California. 
The sheer number of legs and body segments hints at an evolutionary marvel. These adaptations likely helped the creature navigate the narrow crevices of its underground home, propelling itself through the soil with ease. The existence of Eumilipes Persephone is a testament to the hidden biodiversity lurking beneath our feet, especially in regions like the eastern goldfields. Its discovery is a clarion call to preserve these unseen ecosystems, particularly as mining activities threaten their fragile existence. The Cooper Giant On a fateful day in Australia, a giant from the ancient world was found. They named him Cooper, after the Cooper Creek where he was discovered. Cooper wasn't just any giant, he was a dinosaur, a real-life monster from our planet's distant past. This wasn't a small creature. Cooper was as long as a basketball court, towering over the land like a colossal beast from a child's imagination. What makes Cooper even more mysterious is that he belonged to a group of dinosaurs called Titanosaurs, known to be among the largest creatures that ever walked the Earth. Imagine something so big that its footsteps could have caused the ground to shake. Scientists were left scratching their heads. How did Cooper survive in such harsh conditions? What did he eat? And the biggest mystery of all, how did he remain hidden for so many millions of years before finally being found? Cooper's discovery whispers to us from the depths of time, giving us a glimpse into a world long gone. It's a reminder that giants once roamed the land where we now stand. The Magnetic Termite Mounds In the vast, sun-scorched lands of northern Australia, the Earth is alive with secrets. Among them are the Magnetic Termite Mounds, natural wonders that have left scientists scratching their heads in wonder. These are not just any termite mounds, they are masterpieces of insect architecture aligned perfectly from north to south. Why north to south, you ask? It's all about temperature. These clever termites build their mounds to stay cool in the fierce heat. The thin edges of the mounds face the harsh sun, offering little surface area to heat up, while the broadsides soak up the gentler morning and evening light. Imagine fields of these mounds like tombstones, each one standing as a compass pointing to the Earth's magnetic poles. These mounds can tower up to two meters high, crafted by tiny creatures, guided by the invisible force of our planet. But here's the twist. The termites that build these magnetic marvels are blind. Yes, blind. They rely on the Earth's magnetic field to guide their construction. It's a natural mystery that even now, in an age of science and certainty, whispers of ancient knowledge and the incredible harmony of nature. These mounds aren't just homes, they're a testament to survival, to the ingenuity of life in Australia's wild heart. Each one is a story of adaptation and a reminder that sometimes the most extraordinary mysteries are not in the stars, but right beneath our feet. UFO in Broom In the quiet of the night, Broom's stormy skies revealed an enigma that sparked a storm of its own online. A CCTV clip, amidst the usual police Twitter posts of confiscated goods, captured a sight that sent imaginations into the stratosphere. Amidst lightning strikes, a peculiar shape, a glowing triangle within a circle, darted across the sky, leaving viewers and scientists in awe. The broom police quipped about UFOs, but the jest became a fervent debate. Some, like Scott Waring, a once skeptical UFO enthusiast, found belief in that fleeting, luminous trail. Yet, skeptics, including experts like J.J. Abrams, pointed to lens flare, a common camera quirk, as the culprit. As a vehicle's reverse lights blinked in synchrony with the mysterious glow, many accepted the rational yet mundane explanation. The police returned to its routine, but the incident left a whisper of wonder. What if, in that ordinary town for just a moment, we brushed against the extraordinary? The truth remains as elusive as the object itself. The Mungo Lake Deep in the heart of Australia, a place of ancient secrets, and whispers of the past lies Lake Mungo. Imagine a land, dry and vast, where beneath the surface sleep stories from over 40,000 years ago. Here, the remains of Mungo Man and Mungo Woman were found, telling a tale of humanity's long journey on this earth. Mungo Man, found with hands crossed over his groin sprinkled with red ochre, reveals a ritual burial, the oldest of its kind outside Africa. This finding alone turned heads, as it hinted at complex belief systems and spirituality among early Australians. Mungo Woman's remains are even older. She shows evidence of the world's first known cremation, suggesting early Australians had their unique way of honoring the dead. This challenges what scientists thought they knew about ancient practices around death. But there's more. 
The footprints, hundreds of them, the largest collection of Ice Age human footprints in the world. They weave a story of a bustling community, of large men who hunted with spears, of children who played, and of agile women who foraged. These prints, frozen in time, offer a rare snapshot of life 20,000 years ago. Lake Mungo is not just a lake. It's a history book etched in the land, holding secrets of the past that continue to unravel. Wood-eating roach. An extinct species of wood-eating cockroach rediscovered. Tucked away under the shade of a banyan tree on Lord Howe Island, a wood-feeding cockroach, thought to be a whisper from the past, clung to existence. Maxime Adams, a keen-eyed biology student, uncovered this creature that defied time, believed to be lost since the 1930s. This wasn't just any bug, but a relic, surviving silently on an island older than the famed Galapagos. These cockroaches, with their metallic hues ranging from reddish to black, are not merely insects but caretakers of the earth, recycling nutrients and supporting a unique ecosystem. This discovery, a living piece of history, poses new questions about survival, evolution, and the resilience of life in the most unexpected places. And while they may not inspire the affection reserved for the cuddly creatures of the world, their role is no less vital, maintaining the delicate balance of an ancient world. As researchers delve deeper into the secrets of these wingless wonders, they continue to astound and teach us about endurance in the face of change. The Pterosaurs This recent discovery turned the pages of time back by millions of years. It was a time when giant creatures known as pterosaurs ruled the skies. These were not just any birds. They were the rulers of the air, with wings that could stretch as wide as a small airplane. Scientists found the remains of these majestic creatures in the rugged outback, the bones hidden away in the rocks, waiting for ages to tell their tale. These pterosaurs were not only huge, but also peculiar, with sharp pointy beaks and crests that probably made them look like flying dragons. Imagine them soaring high above, their large eyes scanning the ground below for a tasty meal. One of these pterosaurs was so large that its fossilized wing bone was almost as long as a car. Can you picture that? A wing so wide that if it were to flap beside you, it would be like a feathery wall moving through the air. These ancient bones whisper stories of a time when Australia was a very different place, a land where these sky giants would have seen forests, rivers, and other dinosaurs below them. Each fossil is a piece of a puzzle, and as scientists put them together, they unveil a world that we can only dream of now. The mystery of how these huge creatures could fly, how they lived, and what the world looked like during their time keeps scientists on a quest for more. And in Australia, the land of wonders, the past is always ready to reveal new secrets. The Stinging Nettle Tree In the lush landscapes of Australia, a vast array of flora thrives, many with healing properties that have been harnessed for centuries. Among these is the infamous Stinging Nettle Tree, also known as the Gimpy Gimpy Tree. Its leaves look harmless, but they hide a painful secret. A touch can deliver a sting that can last for days or even months. Local tales tell of a bushwalker who, after brushing against this devious plant, endured a sting so intense that it eclipsed all other sensations. The indigenous communities, however, knew the power of the land. They found ways to use the stinging nettle tree for its medicinal properties, carefully harvesting its leaves to treat ailments. The stinging nettle tree is not the only natural remedy found in Australia's diverse ecosystem. The land blooms with eucalyptus, tea tree, and lemon myrtle, each with its own unique healing capabilities. Eucalyptus leaves clear the sinuses with their minty scent, tea tree oil acts as a potent antiseptic, and lemon myrtle, with its zesty aroma, has been used to treat everything from indigestion to skin conditions. The wisdom of Australia's flora is etched into the personal experiences of those who understand its value and respect its power. From the sharp lesson taught by the Gimpy Gimpy tree to the soothing embrace of eucalyptus, the continent's plants offer a connection to the ancient art of healing that is both profound and deeply personal. Glow Worm Tunnel Nestled in the Wolgan Valley, the Glow Worm Tunnel stands as a portal to the past a relic of the early 1900s railway meant to connect the Nunes Oil Shale Works to Sydney. This historical arc, which once thrummed with industry, now cradles silence, save for the sound of a creek that murmurs through its heart. It's here, in the perpetual twilight of the tunnel, 
that glowworms have claimed dominion, their bioluminescent glow casting an otherworldly radiance. These delicate creatures, sensitive to the slightest disturbance, adorn the walls and ceiling. This 400-meter-long tunnel, curved like a crescent moon, provides a magical stroll for families. The journey to this enchanted place is an adventure in itself, a drive over rugged terrain followed by a walk on deserted railway tracks through dense forests and past curious rock formations. It's a natural phenomenon that transforms the tunnel into a luminous passage, a constellation on Earth. Visitors leave with a sense of wonder. Having walked a path lit not by man, but by the soft, glowing bodies. Space Exploration Program Australia's foray into space exploration brings us to the present, where the country is making its mark on the final frontier. The Australian Space Agency, established in 2018, aims to triple the size of the nation's space industry by 2030. Australia's unique position and vast open spaces make it ideal for space observation and tracking. The country has a rich history with space, having played a crucial role in transmitting live images of the Apollo 11 moon landing in 1969. Today, Australia continues to contribute to international space exploration with plans to develop national capabilities and participate in future missions to the moon and Mars. These ambitions keep the spirit of discovery alive, igniting dreams of the unknown and the excitement of what lies beyond our planet. The Shocking Horizontal Waterfalls In the remote Kimberley region of Western Australia, something unusual stirs the waters. Here you'll find a peculiar natural phenomenon, the horizontal waterfalls. Picture this, massive tidal movements force water through narrow gorges, creating a waterfall effect, but instead of falling vertically, the water gushes horizontally. Twice a day, tides rise and fall so fiercely they create a powerful rush like rivers in the sea, racing sideways with incredible might. These tides are among the largest in the world, moving up to 11 meters, and the force they generate is so strong it can change the direction of the waterfalls. What makes it even more mysterious is that the waterfalls are not constant. They appear and disappear with the rhythm of the sea. At the heart of this wonder, are two narrow cliff passages in Talbot Bay. When the tide is high, water builds up on one side faster than it can flow through the passages, creating a horizontal drop. This natural wonder is not just a feast for the eyes, but also for the local marine life. The strong currents mix the waters, bringing nutrients from the deep, which supports a rich variety of creatures, from fish to sharks. The horizontal waterfalls have become a playground for adventure seekers, with boats daring to ride the turbulent flow. Yet the horizontal waterfalls remain shrouded in a kind of secrecy, accessible only by sea or air, adding to their allure. They are a reminder of nature's power and mystery, a natural spectacle that plays with the rules of gravity and continues to intrigue all who witness it. Australia's natural wonders continue to inspire and perplex. The mysteries we explored today are just the beginning. What other secrets hide beneath the surface of this vast land? Perhaps the next astonishing discovery is waiting for you. Get out there and explore.